build atop the cliffs that rise from the sword post, the citadel of Candlekeep houses the finest and most comprehensive collection of writings on the face of Baron. It is an imposing fortress, kept in strict isolation from the intrigues that occasionally plague the rest of the Forgotten Realms. It is secluded, highly regimented, and it is bold. Within these hallowed halls of knowledge, your story begins. You have spent most of your twenty years of life within this keep's austere walls, under the tutelage of the sage Gorarion. Acting as your father, he has raised you on a thousand tales of heroes and monsters, lovers and infidels, battles and tragedies. However, one story was always left untold, that of your true heritage. You have been told that you are an orphan, but your past is largely unknown. Lately, Gorion has been growing distant from you, as if some grave matter weighs heavily on his heart. You have asked about his concerns as gently as possible, but your queries have been in vain. Your sole comfort is the knowledge that he is a wise man, and you know he will tell you when the time is right. Nonetheless, his silence is troubling, and you cannot help but feel that something is terribly wrong. Today, Gorion has appeared more agitated than ever, and now he has uncharacteristically interrupted your chores in the middle of the day. Imparting hurried instructions for you to equip yourself for travel, he has handed you what gold he can... All right, there we go. There's our little intro. Uh, build up. There's our party. We're in Candlekeep. I'm Collect already... everyone and get them all moved around. I want to put our face up here in the front. Um, and we want to quickly click a quick formation here, which puts our first character in the back. Now, the first character is this um, silver ball here. That's going to represent our first character. You can see the face is standing back there. Right. Then we want to figure out who's standing where and position them in a better spot. So I want there. We'll go ahead and work out <clears throat> the way we're going to arrange our parties Party right now. Uh, it's just not... Okay. That seems right. That way. So I think this is going to be how we're going to enter most combats a little while um, and we are given <clears throat> a quest right out of the gate we're given a quest to find Gorion. see we don't really have any all of our characters just have a quarter staff um, that's it so we need to f uh, find some things and we've got uh, some money here so each of our characters rolled at the beginning of the game to find out how much money we had and we have 440 gold to go around for everyone Let's go spend some of that. Um, you can see this guy here, Winthrop. He is the first person we want to talk to. Um, <clears throat> why, hello there, young one. Come to visit your old pal Winthrop, have you? Well, don't forget the 10,000 gold piece book entrance fee, as per Candlekeep's custom. So we'll say the second option. You always were the big kidder, Winthrop. That gets funnier nearly every time I hear it. Well, perhaps not quite so often. Ah, just having a bit of fun with you, my friend. The monks may be walking about with poles in their nethers, but you know you are always welcome here in my sight. Brian did well by you, he did. So, is there anything I can do for you? Some drinks, or room to sleep, or anything to buy? Sure, what do you have? Here, uh, we can pick a room if we want to, but we don't actually need to rest or to buy stuff. We want to pick some items that will suit our character's needs. So oh, first off, uh, Shrongacus Maximus here wants either a Warhammer or uh, an Axe. So let's get, I think we can get one of each. Is there a Warhammer here? Here it is. So we'll give him mixed damage there. Want to get a Longbow or, let's see, is it a Longbow? Yep. Composite Longbow. Nice. We might want to get a Composite Longbow actually, but that's quite expensive. What's well, actually not much more expensive. 
Let's go for that composite longbow for this character. They throw darts. First staff is, I think, fine for him. Let's see. Tear proficiencies, yeah, just starts there. We need flail for sling for her. Dagger and sling for her. Crossbow. So what? sling and a flail this character. Morning Star. Don't see any flails. He's a different weapon. Flail Morning Star. I can't use it. No. <clears throat> okay. Oh, wait, there's a flail. Why can't you use it? Druid, mage, monk, shaman. Fire's 13 strength. Do not have 13 strength. Uh. Pain. <laughs> the struggle. Okay. Um. Well. Hmm. I guess we could shadow keep it. Shadow keep works, and I could just take three out of something else. A quick rebuild. Let's see. Make sure Shadow Keeper works. Baldur's Gate one. Yeah. Okay. Um. So <laughs> a little bit of a mistake in the build here for this character. Um, he definitely needs at least thirteen strength. Um, to be able to wield these weapons at all. So, either we swap this out for, you know, let's not edit the stats, let's just swap the proficiency out. We'll swap the proficiency out for a club instead. And then, didn't we give somebody else clubs? Take clubs away. Before we get into this, we'll just adjust this mistake. Hopefully maybe we didn't. Yeah, nobody else has clubs. So we'll give her clubs instead of flails and morning stars because she's able to use those with the strength she has. That way we don't need to. But to do this, we need to go ahead and save. Uh, just bear with me. Sorry, chat. Unforeseen mistake there on my part. Um, go. And uh, let's see. I think I can just. I can. Pretty sure I can run it while I think so. Let me leave this up. Grab my EE keeper. <clears throat> Fortunately, EE keeper is on Mac and OS X. We can just go to that save file we created. Um, and. Oh, it's looking in the wrong place. Get it to look in a different Well, uh, and save game. There we go. Oh. Looking in only one location. So Installation directory. Ah, uh, yes, that's where it's looking. I'll switch the directory to Baldur's Gate. Done. Ah, should. Hey. <laughs> uh, here, let me. I'll put this up so you can see what I'm doing here with EE Keeper. Realize I don't have this up. Could throw that. So we don't we're not doing anything yet. Uh, okay, so this is what EE Keeper looks like. And um looking in the wrong place for our save games. Uh 
Oh, there's another spot I think. Save data directory, perhaps. Settings. Save data directory. Okay. That's what we want. Now it's going to look in the right folder. Open. Yes. So this is going to bring up all of our characters. You can see this is what we just created. This allows you to cheat. We're not going to use it to cheat. We're just going to use it to move some uh, proficiency around. Uh, but you can, if you want to, um, use this to edit any character in any save file. So say if you're playing a normal playthrough of the game, you want to make Jahira just a pure class druid, you can. That's totally fine. You're allowed to do that with this. Or rather, maybe not allowed to. You're able to do it. Better word. We are going to scroll over to character that we made here, slightly incorrectly and go to proficiencies and change that proficiency I'm just going to click minus and put that on level. <clears throat> okay so and now we click save click that and now there is a new save for us to go to where this change has been made Minimize that over here, and we can see if I go to load game. There it is. There is that. We check just to make sure that this worked. You can see now we have club proficiency instead of strength. Sorry about that mistake, everyone. Uh, my bad there. We, uh, that is all that that does, though. Let's go ahead and grab her a club. I've got this. Good to see you again as any other I could lay eyes could have lays eyes. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable as you will. If you wish for anything, just ask. Get a club. Yes. Okay. God's plan has a club. Jeff is gonna need some darts. Let's get some of these. Oh, well, I guess that's that's ten at a time, huh? He needs a dagger, as well as a crossbow. I can full of these. Okay. A club. We need a sling on this character. Some sling bullets. Some darts, some bolts, arrows here. Need any arrows? We've got the face. What weapons does the face use? Oh, that was my crossbow use. Shortbow, sling. <clears throat> right. Yeah, and she has high strength. And the halfling bonus to it. These crossbows actually. This crossbow. Oh, we may need to do another EE key. This for how much strength is this? Eight. So we needed eight strength for the crossbow. I had eight strength and I took it away. <laughs> okay. We'll fix that too. Get our basic builds going. Actually use the weapons that we were planning on. So silly of over to the face here. Let's oh. Oh. Uh, I was taking points out of wisdom. I had it like this. It was four and eight. That would be enough. <clears throat> so that's a thing we could do. Uh, alternately, I guess we could have this character not use a crossbow. Let me double check before we do this. Let me just check, like, the, the whole reason I'm doing this is so that this character can use the fire tooth when we get to Baldur's Gate 2. Does this need, does this also just need 8? I don't want this to, like, need 9 or something, and then totally facepalm later on. It has no strength requirement. Well, that's good. 
Okay, well, then yeah, I guess this will this will have a set for a long time. Okay. So now our bard can actually use a crossbow. And is even more weak on the wisdom side. Terrifying. Okay. Don't worry about me. Oh. <clears throat> Inventory is gone. Oh, we haven't shopped yet. Right. Okay. So we need to buy things. Not that we didn't save. For this character. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's got things fixed now. We can see this character can, in fact, use a crossbow when we slow scroll down. Yes, we can use the light crossbow. Right. I think our other characters. This is just effective. Fun. A light crossbow. Let's get some bolts. We'll get, I guess, a hundred of those. That armor there. Light crossbows. Needs a quarter staff. Already got a staff. Need some arrows here. And halberd. I don't think it sells a halberd. If they do, that would be nice. You want it? You've got it. Birds. Oh, look, a halberd. How convenient. We have a halberd. We need to buy some arrows. It's going to be the best halberd we're going to see for a long time. Uh, this character needs a sling. This guy needs darts. This character needs a um, Also a sling. A sling. So, so we've got a lot of money left over, actually. Um, one of our characters rolled 140, which is great. We buy a couple pieces of armor, I think. Let's get everybody geared up. See what we can do in the world. I didn't put any points into dual wielding yet, so he's going to be single wielding for now. Put him into single wielding. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> going to be dual wielding for now. Or single wielding for now. I think later on we're probably going to have this uh, guy do sword and shield. Um, so probably won't be single wielding. Halberd. There, okay. Put halberd bow. Here we have dagger and sling. Starts. He should never go into melee. Eric's. <clears throat> okay, so we want to prioritize the melee of our Dwarven Defender. The armor of our Dwarven Defender. Gotta get this armor class down. The, our lowest armor class is actually Mage, I think. Our Mage and our Scald. Low armor class in this game is better. You want to have low armor. Let's take a look here at what kind of armors we can get. Um, there's some very expensive splint mail. But that may be the best that we'll find. It's an armor class of four. Also got shields here. One of these large shields. We also want to get helmets for everyone that can. These prevent critical hits. Uh, 
Um, the thing is, if we buy the split mail, we can't really buy armor for... One armor for other people. Let's get everybody else's armor first, I think, and we'll just wind up getting... Studded leather for this... Oh. That's an armor class of 7, as opposed to 8. Our mage cannot wear armor. Eric, however, we're going to want to put her probably... only get two chains. Emails. Can't get the chain mail. Flint mail. Okay, so let's buy the two chain mails. Oh. Only buy one chain mail. I guess the rest has to be studded. Well, let's see if we can get some more money. Hold on to what we've got. See if we can come back and buy this chainmail and this splint mail. And for now, we buy one of these. It does give a slight bonus to It's a little bit of a bonus. We should buy some leather armor for. So, oops. So our our scald can't wear armor either. Don't need to worry about that until we get later in the... Oh, wait, we can. Um, right, our Scald can wear armor, but it disables Arcane Casting Principle. So we're not going to want to do that. Um, or does it just give a failure chain? I think that's what it is. Double check here. I forget how exactly this works. It's been a while since I've played. Let's see how armor is for bards. I think it completely disables wizard spell. Unless you have certain armors. <clears> okay. <throat> hey. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're not going to do that then. I guess we'll get a piece of armor just in case we need it. If we run out of spells or something, we can always put that on. He's wearing leather armor. She's going to wear armor. No armor for you. actually swap out this oh. we're gonna have her probably at range here what's our Thaco? sling versus sling Thaco's way better with the sling <clears throat> low Thaco is good that's two hit armor class zero and so we would need to roll a 16 to hit something of an armor class zero but to hit something with armor class 6, we would only need to roll a 10. Then... Yeah, she's more fragile, so let's have her with this, the better protection. She's going to be in melee. <laughs> with the best protection. And we've got his armor class all the way down to 2. At this stage of the game, armor class of 2 is incredible. That is basically in whole Hardly going to take damage at all. Uh, and then, let's see, what kind of spells? We don't even know any spells or have spell slots at this point, so let's put our bard in for now, and we'll take that armor off when we can eventually cast some stuff. Okay, so that is our early game initial setup. Got a little bit of gold left over. Probably going to wind up spending that. Let's go ahead and drop a save. Cannot save it this time. Why can I not save it? You want it? Can I save it this time? And save it this time. Fantastic. Okay, well, um, I am going to step away for just a moment and add it for a little while. I will be back. Oh my gosh, I haven't, I've had this up on the screen the whole time. Um, whoops, let me pull this down. I feel really silly. So you just missed all that shopping. I've just been uh, talking about all that shopping and you couldn't even see it happening, but that's what we bought. Let me put this up on the screen again, I guess, before I step away. So here's our setup. We've got um, light armor on the bard for now because we don't have any magic. We've got the, the heaviest armor we could get our hands on at this time, which means we don't have that splint yet. But we've got an armor class of two. Uh, we've got some leather armor and a bow here, studded leather armor and a sling, some darts, 
also leather armor this thing here. Notice that really good they go there. <coughs> All right, so I'm going to step away then for just a moment, and I will be back. We'll uh, we'll get going on the rest of this playthrough. Tuning in, um, we are playing on SES. That is Sword Coast Stratagems. It's a difficulty mod for Baldur's Gate. We're playing on Insane Difficulty, which is the highest difficulty that the mod is balanced for. So very, very, very hard challenge when we're going to do all three games in the series. So that's um, Baldur's Gate 1, 2, and Throne of Ball. Um, I don't have Siege of Dragonspear, but um, I guess if this gets a lot of attention, maybe I'll do Siege of Dragonspear 2. That would be fun. Um, and let's get into it. We uh, we did have to do a little bit of shadow keeping to edit our save files, but we didn't do anything too crazy like cheating or raising our stats to wild numbers. I just put a couple proficiencies in silly places. Um, like our uh, <laughs> cleric here only has 10 strength, but I gave her flails. Total face palm. You need 13 strength to use flails. So now we, she has clubs, things like that. Um, it was, I think, two things we did that, and um, we something with wisdom on somebody lowered it to. <laughs> yeah, our uh, our scald. We wanted them to use a bow, but couldn't use bow or crossbow because they didn't have eight strength. Eight strength, and use a crossbow. That is the uh, the changes we made. We didn't do a plus two to our roll, though. We did take those two points away from Wisdom. This is actually what I had initially planned until I found out that you only need six strengths to wear the barred armor, and that's why I lowered it down in the first place. So we undid that change, um, and that's it. No other, no other changes were made on the back end. I put it up on screen so you could see that. So if you uh, want to see that or how to do edit Shadow Keeper and do all that, then feel free to check out the VOD or uh, hit back a few times on your keyboard. See, uh, see how that works. So we're going to go ahead and drop a quick save. I save early, I save often. And the way that this tutorial works, this is the tutorial section of the game, is you're essentially supposed to talk to these guys in green, um, and they'll tell you some stuff. So let's, let's go through that. Um, so, uh, hello, child. I've been instructed to tell you about basic mechanics of movement and time. If there is anything uh, in that sort you would know more of. So this guy, he tells you all about how you can pause the game, move the camera around and stuff. Um, we know this already, or rather I do, so I'm going to skip this. Uh, but when you play through here, feel free. These guys are great. They tell you so much stuff. Um, so if it's your first couple playthroughs of the game, definitely start and talk to these guys. Get a refresher on what's going on. Hi. Uh, yeah, I am on Steam. Oh, that would be... That's, you're too kind. That's very sweet of you. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I, um, I have thought about, I saw it was, um, available on Steam just today. I didn't actually realize that it was available on Steam just now, but I played the, uh, the actual written campaign Siege of Dragon Sphere, uh, in Dungeons and Dragons, and that was a lot of fun. So I'd definitely be down to play a gamified version of it. There's anything, so we're good here, um. That's very good. But, um, you know, that's so sweet of you. Uh, maybe uh, drop, a, drop a follow instead. And uh, you know, no, need to, uh, no need to give me any money. That's uh, some discount we're buying from this one website. Well, hey, you know, um, I, I, I'm not one to, to turn away a gift. But, uh, you know, I think uh, I don't... I've just started doing this whole streaming thing, and I don't really even have a, a, a big community yet or anything. I want to get one going. I want to create it. So it means a lot that you're or you're saying this. Like that's really cool. But yeah, you don't have to. It's um, this is something that just getting started. Let's see this tutor here. Um, he teaches you about what the different circles mean. So green is us. Uh, the the bl blue are allies. Uh, red is enemies. Yellow are people who are frightened. Purple. Uh, oh, okay. So when uh, things turn purple, we're seeing a cutscene. I actually didn't know that. So let's go. <laughs> I already know all I know about feats. Thanks. It's not the feet, but the aura surrounding them that is important. Turn to me. You change your mind and wish to continue your lessons. Um, so here is another character, Flidia. Uh, she gives us a quest when we talk to her. Oh, hello. 
Hey, have you seen my copy of the History of Haurua anywhere? You know how I can't stand the constant shuffling of arthritic feet up in the library. So I thought I'd get a bit of fresh air just east of here and... Oh, I hate being so absent-minded. Please, if you find it, I really do need it back. So she's told us she's missing a book. It's off to the east somewhere. That is our first quest. We're looking for a book. There are a couple of cows here. Let's say hi to those. They, uh, they say moo. They don't say anything at all. Here is another one of these tutors. This one. Talk to him. Uh, tells you all about your inventory screen and leveling up and all of that. This is very important information. So, uh, you are. Do you have any questions about that? This guy. Tell us all about that. We've got another tutor here. Greetings, child. I can teach you about some less common adventuring hazards and how to avoid them. Is there anything you'd like to know about? It tells you all about these different status conditions. Okay, I don't need any lessons right now. Very well. Return to me if you wish to continue your lessons. Um, okay. Uh, interesting. Duly noted. Um, so I don't know what's in this house. Go into the house. Oh, right. I remember what's in this house. So this guy is going to try to kill us. Um, he says, oh, goody, goody. I've gone and found ye first. You are the ward of Gorion, no doubt. So we are uh, blissfully unaware, so we'll say, I am. What can I do for you? Oh, our encounter shall be quite simple for you. Plainly put, I have made it my mission to end your life. Success will mean little, a little respect among my peers. So you see, you can do very little except die. And the game automatically pauses for us. That is one of those settings that we set way back at the beginning of the stream. If you miss that, we set up a bunch of auto-pause settings. Um, so definitely check those out if you want to see what we're running here. And uh, Shank is going to try to shank us. Let's get microing. Now, the way that we want to handle this is we want to have um, our... Uh, oh, we are poorly positioned right now. So we want to have Strongicus facing this guy. So let's get everybody moving away. Now we need to be careful how we give these commands because they can kind of trip over each other. Let's send Jeff just off over here. We'll send Bigly McSmackington off to the left as well. Uh, and we're going to get Strongicus actually out of the way. So now when we unpause, they're going to move over here, hopefully, Fine. Uh, to clear out the way. You want it? So these two to move through. And in fact, actually, let's just have God's plan stand here and uh, think up the shank for a moment until we can get Shragicus into melee range. Now we're going to briefly unpause. Let everybody move. Um, Madam Stabsalot did not move, so we need to move her. Now, Shragicus can be brought back in. Why is he going there? That's not right. We need to catch that and send him in the other direction. I think he was in front of something. And these have caught on each other. This is very tight quarters. Um, but we send him that way. Should get out of the way. Yep. Okay, so now we're in good position. Um, we've got a handle on this fight. We need to have uh, our ranged characters start chucking ranged weapons at him. There's Jeff. Start throwing darts. So all of them are going to engage now. You can see up in the top right by their portrait, uh, a symbol of what they're using. Strongicus is going to engage here. An axe or Warhammer, probably the blunt weapon is going to be better. I don't know if it makes much of a difference. Well, we've got blunt weapons on him already, so let's use this, this different weapon type just to cover all our bases. So now when we unpause, we're going to have a full round of attacks, and then when the round ends, it's going to pause again. Oh, he's dead. Well, that worked. Great. Let's go. He's toast. Never stood a chance. Um, okay, we did take a little bit of damage. Uh, but, everybody, he is gone. Well, somebody tried to kill us. Can you believe it? Um, in our own hometown. When we were just wandering around. So we found some gold. Um, in fact, let's actually detect traps here. 
So we can do that with this, just in case this chest is trapped. I think it is. Yep, yep, yep. It's locked though. Let's see, can we unlock it? Ooh, we can. What's in it? Regular old dagger. Well, that's not anything too fancy. Don't worry about oh, me. off we go. I've got this. All of you should watch yourselves carefully. There have been some strange men asking about Strongacus Maximus. Okay, so asking about our uh, dwarven defender here, Strongacus. Interesting. Well, uh, here we can see uh, Drepin. What do you need? Uh, he says Lydia left one of her books in here again. It's in the hay there beside the cow. If you could run it over to her and then come back, I've got some plans for you. I suppose we've found the book. And that is the history of Halrua right there. Another cow. And let's go off to where Flidia was. She's over here back to the left. A little bit of a fetch quest just to get us started. Hope you're having a good time. We in the stream. Hope you're having a good day overall. It is a nice time of year, you know? Season for joy. And my book! Oh, you remind me of Gorion when you grin like that. Raising you has been hard on him, I know. But he says it's a toil of love, a toil of destiny even. You must be a very special child indeed to draw such praise from a man of his silent nature. Here, take this little gem of mine. Maybe Winthrop will give you a little something for it. Ah, so we've gotten a gem, a lynx eye gem. We're a little closer to fording one of those uh, pieces of armor that we want to buy. Good. So he told us to come back to him once we uh, delivered that book. A little chat with Drepin over. Maybe he'll give us some money. Nice day, ain't it? Too bad Nessie here ain't, ain't enjoying it, though. Her being sick and all. I need to get her one of them potions of antidote off hole. He stayed up drinking last night. Got hauled out of bed to man the gates early this morning. So I bet he's got a few of them lying around somewhere. Okay, so now we have a new plan. We need... Go get antidote. First, let's chat with this tutor. Just for anyone who hasn't played this game before, he says, No time to lose. I've got to tell you about quick slots. <laughs> so these quick slots, these are very helpful. Um, he is quite humorous to chat with. Um, but I've got no time for a lesson, I'm afraid. He says, Come back if you change your mind. You're off. Go ahead and drop a quick save. There is a temple. Uh, this is a pretty nice place over here. You can stop by. Says, I am pleased to see that you have taken time to pay tribute to wise Agma. I was wondering what you had to offer at this Temple of Wisdom. Here we can get some healing spells. They're very expensive, so we're not going to do that. We can also have things identified if we need to. And we can donate. This will increase our reputation. Very good. That's a good way to get discounts at shops and just make people like you more overall. And more importantly, they sell potions here. So there's lots of potions available, but you can see they're actually quite expensive. We can't buy any of them. And we can't even sell our gems. Only worth seven gold. But how are we going to find enough to get more splint mail? Well, who's this? The last guy we talked to tried to kill us. Hey, hey there, Strongacus Maximus. I see you're up early this day. Well, your father, Gorion, has asked me a strange favor. It seems like he wants you to learn some fighting. And asked me to be the teacher, so I hope you brought your staff with you. Oh, we brought something better than that. Um, so here he tells you about um, how to do combat. Get that? He says, during our fight, I'm going to spring a little surprise on you. Remember, you can press the space bar at any time and pause the game. This will give you time to think, especially once my little surprise comes up. Are you ready now? Good. So, um, this, I think, is one of the only fourth wall breaks in the game. Pretty interesting that there is a little fourth wall break here. Uh, he is... So the surprise is that there is an additional character. Alright. So, uh... Jeff. Here. Looks like he's about to take damage. That's not great. Um, let's have... All of our characters turn on this one. Face, I think, needs to back up. Have this character here, and we'll get... Um, yeah, our cleric into melee with that. Might be a little bit. Let's watch the music first. 
We can just have the face of him. Yep, yep, there we go. So this is fine. Now, um, Jondalar is aggroed onto Strongacus, and Eric here has to stop doing ranged things, uh, or he will have a disadvantage, great disadvantage against him. He says, wow, you're quite a fighter. I think Jondalar was right when he said you didn't need any practice. You should go talk to the Gate Warden if you want some experience in fighting with a group of people. You can find him just south of here. Out there, it can be pretty important to know how to fight with allies at your side. So we're done there. We have defeated most of the tutorial. There's a chest here. There's nothing in it. Okay. Revor. I thought I asked you to clean the rats out of this building yesterday already. Up to it. Get in there. <laughs> so this fight is well known for being quite difficult on SCS. Let's go ahead and drop a save. We'll give it a shot. We do have a full party. You're meant to have just one character here, so I think we should be just fine. But these rats, they have a lot of damage resistance, which is why uh, they can be really hard, is if they uh, they have lots of health, it can take a while to kill them. So let's see how this goes with a bunch of people. Oh, it's, it's going to be fine. <laughs> it's going to be just fine. Okay, so there's a the round ending. Um, Alright, that's dead. Return. Have God's plan go after that one. These folks can kill that. Go. That was uh, much easier than I expected it to be. Okay, and we're done. We're done. The rats are dead. I think there are... There, yes, there is a box here. There's nothing in the box. I saw there's one of these. Nothing in the barrel. Is there anything in the other barrel? We can do a little bit of pixel hunting here. A ring! Ah. Okay, and we can hit tab. Actually, there we go. Tab highlights all the things that are clickable. It puts names above things as well. So this is very nice if you want, you want to see where things are. You don't necessarily have to pixel hunt. I've got all right. But we've beaten the rats. Um, oh, wait. We should probably talk to him. I wonder if he gives me something. Hey, Reaver. Ah, yes. Kill them like the rats that they are. A glorious battle, unlike any this world has ever seen. Here's five gold pieces. Don't spend it all in one. We're gonna. Five gold pieces is nothing. We're gonna continue around here. Here's another one of these tutors. Hello. Talk to this tutor. He says, Oh, hello, child. I'm given to understand you might need to know about saved games. What temporal mysteries can I illuminate for you? This is a pretty interesting way for them to <laughs> talk about saved games. Uh, no mysteries today, thank you. Alex says, yes, of course. Now, the week before that, I was in Netherrealm. Was it before, the, or was it that before or after it fell? Odd. So, there is a gate here, hole that we need to talk to. Hey, kid. I woke up late this morning and left my sword in the barracks before going on duty. If you want to get it for me, it's in the chest at the foot of my bed on the right side of the barracks. Quick now, before the gate warden catches me without it. You'll also find an antidote there. I think Drippin needs one for old Nessa. That's exactly why we came here. Go ahead and go to the barracks. I don't know where the barracks are. There is a really nice map. We bring that up. Oh, we've got someone to talk to. Hello there. I should tell you that Gorion has been looking to talk to Strongicus Maximus and all of his friends. You should go talk to Gorion as soon as possible. We're not going to. That's very nice of you. Appreciate that. Hello, child. Hello, child. I was asked to help you with your journal. If you need help, that is. I have nothing to ask right now, thank you. If you think of any questions in your travels, be sure to write them down. Return to me if you wish to continue the lessons. Off we go. There's a watcher here. Anything to say to us? I should have brought hey there, kid. Nothing to see here. Guess not. Another one of these tutors. Almost done with them. Ah, child. I was informed you might be needing instruction on how to properly bend the universe to your will. Is there anything I can tell you about the casting of spells? This one tells you all about magic, how to use it, how to prepare it. 
I said, I'll learn more casting spells than being lectured about them. Say that now. But when you find yourself in a dark forest, surrounded by displacer beats, and can't use your spellbook's contents, I do hope you'll remember this conversation. Return to me if you change your mind. Salty. If you don't want to advice, I can. Here is another one of these tutors. Let's see which one, what this tells us about. You want to know about thieving? I'm the one to ask. Nothing right now. If I change my mind, I may steal a moment from you later. Ah, cheeky. Yes, come back whenever you like. That one tells us all about thieving, how to do that. Again, we're not really going to chat with them for very long because I already know how to play the game. But uh, they're a great resource. Definitely recommend you chat with them. This is the bunkhouse. I think this is where we were being sent. Let's drop a quick save before we enter, just in case. Go through. There, there. You're Gorion's little whelp, aren't you? Yeah, you match the description. You don't look so dangerous to me. And I... Well, someone just tried to kill us. Um, I'll say, and what business is that of yours? I'll make it my business if then I please. Just thought I'd have a look at you myself before I put the blade down your gullet. Someone seems to think you're trouble, so I'm gonna use your head for a ticket out of the gutter. I'm just a little street trash hood, they say, but I'll show them. Well, I guess we're getting attacked again. Well, like before, I think we're probably fine, um, actually, because, sure thing. uh, fine. I can just do this, and that guy died pretty much right away. I bet this guy is not much stronger. How's that going to look? We'll send the face over here. And, uh, he's going to try to chase the face, but because of, uh, our movement here, yep, he's going to have to turn around. Oh, he's already dead. Let's go. This, again, this is just a tutorial section of the game. It'll be a lot harder once we... Uh, and the tutorial is more built for uh, one character. Okay. Um, well, there's barracks. Or there's a... There's a uh, up there. Yes. Oh, was there any... Tab here? Oh, there's something else we could click on. Something on your mind? Uh... All of you should watch yourselves carefully. There have been some strange men asking about Strongicus Maximus. I noticed. Yes, thank you. Morning. You want Very it? helpful. You got it. Okay. Oh, we can click on that. Okay. It is. What does this guy have to say to us? Hello, child. Hello, child. I understand you may benefit from my knowledge of adventurer specialties. Are there any class abilities you'd like explained? This tells you about some complicated stuff like uh, the Turn Undead or the Bard Song. We know this, so not especially, but thank you. It's never too late to focus your training. Return to me if you wish to know more. It was great to talk to you about all that. Probably a really important one to check out if you haven't played before. This is a barracks. That's what we're looking for. All sword should be in here. Okay, no one tries to kill us. Go fuller. Uh, what a mead, what a mead filled night. That bowl is just too much. Poor Sap had to go man the gate this morning too. I don't know how he does it. What can I do for you anyways? Uh, well, I could tell on hold, but it seems like he didn't want he didn't want that to know. So I'll just say I was just wondering if you had any errands I could run. Errands? Yeah, actually, I need a quarrel of crossbow bolts. If you could get some off a of Winthrop, at the end I'll reimburse you. Oh, very well. There will be a few coins in it for you, too, so you can stop giving me that look. We actually have some crossbow bolts. He just needs a coral, he says, so let's grab a... Take those out of... That's 20. Okay. Put a few gold pieces in there. Yes, we took 20 of those, but we got 10 gold. Very nice. And uh, one of these has a full sword in it, and it's unlocked. We don't want to go around unlocking locks, because that will make people angry. Must be this one. Yep, there's Hole's sword, and the antidote. Off we go. So we could walk around uh, that way. We need to go basically over here, so what we can do is open up the map, click to where we want to go, close the map, now we can just click that, and it'll auto-path us. Hope you're enjoying the stream so far, everyone. 
have a good time. And I see like, oh, someone followed. Hey, thanks for the follow. Really appreciate it. Yeah. I've been uh been planning on getting going with this streaming thing for a long time. Finally putting a lot of time into it, uh this last week or so. Uh to, to wanting to release all my music next year. Thought this would be a good way to get my name out there a little bit before all the music is ready. Honestly, this has uh been doing much better than I expected. Whoops. Been doing much better than I have expected. I ex I thought that I'd be sitting here talking to myself for <laughs> for months and months. I've already got folks here talking to me. I'm so lucky. So happy to have you here. Really feeling great about that. Hope you're having a good day. You're a wonder you are. Stick with me and we'll go far. Well, okay. Stick with me and we'd probably never leave the walls of Candlekeep, would we? Hmm. Good thing you ain't wearing none of that metal armor, though. As I hear that the bandits out there would just as soon kill you as look at you to get it off your back. I just hope this whole iron crisis business is wrapped up soon. We, we lose an antidote, but we gain some experience. Did, uh, did we use the antidote? Good. Okay. A little bit of experience, that's nice. So I think that's all of our quests for, for this area. Uh, oh, we never delivered Hall's sword. Right, we gotta go get him his sword back. Ha! Huh. No, no. Yeah, that's not the plan. No, um, I want to do, like, variety content just for fun. I play a lot of games anyway. and figure, um, might as well stream it. And if, uh, if I can get some people watching, then that's really good. I, because more, I want to become a famous musician. That's the idea. And, uh, having any kind of community, you know, I think can only help with that. I've been working for the last, uh, I guess it's about five years now on doing electronic music production. I've been working for, um, I played guitar for, I think, must have been 13 years before that, but I was playing guitar a lot, learning music theory and stuff. I, I really want to do music. That's my, that's my big dream. I, I mean, <laughs> if streaming works too, then that's, that's great, but I, I, I don't expect it to really go anywhere. But it'd be nice, it'd be nice, you know? I mean, it seems like a great job for me. I'm, I'm so talkative, so I, I definitely, the bill, but I, uh, I think more realistically, I'm probably going to keep working as a math tutor. That's that's what I've been doing. Um, oh. <clears throat> so here's one of the NPCs that she would normally be playing through the game with. Uh, she is a mage thief. We're going to tell her to, to go away. We don't need her weird stats um, and odd spell spread. Uh, she's actually pretty good. If you level her up your, yourself, she's pretty good if you use her through the game. She'll serve your needs um, as a thief for the most part. But, uh, you know, we're going to be going to talk down to her a little bit and not let her in on everything that's been happening. She says, I'm surprised that stuffy old Orion let you away from your studies and your chores. That old fiddle faddle, I snuck off too. Old Puffcut Swinthrop was looking for me, but I've got all day to do his chores. Do you have time for a story today? No, I can tell you don't. What you been up to? I say, I'm sorry, child, but I am not to tell anyone what I am doing. I must go. You should not tarry about either. Winthrop will, will want the beds turned down after you are done in the stables. If you say so, you sure picked up a lot from old Orion. He never tells it straight neither. Good luck on your trip. Er, I mean, good luck with whatever you are doing. Uh, said, uh, wait, what do you know of my journey? Orion has said little to me, and less to anyone else. Oh, I know. All stick in the mud that he is. All worried about nothing. I'm sure. Better go now, because you've got a long ways to travel. Not not that I would know. Especially since I didn't peek at Mr. G's private letters. No, sir. Better go now. Bye-bye. So, uh, there. We could talk to her again if we wanted to get her into our party, so... But we are not gonna... Uh, oh, wait. We need to, uh, actually... Let's go... Let's go pay a visit to the shop. Sell off some stuff, and then we'll chat with Ryan after that. But yeah, I think uh, I will definitely keep streaming, even if I never make a book. I just like doing it. I, I'm going to keep playing games anyway. Instead of sitting here talking to myself, I'm sitting here talking to y'all. Fine with me.
Hmm. Yeah, I play. Uh, I do play a lot of other games though. If you wanna wanna check out the channel another time, I play a whole bunch of games, various kinds. So here I've got something you'll enjoy. Yeah, I've started up a bunch of series this week. I'm gonna revisit lots of games again. Timberborn, Kerbal Space Program. Just started Factorio yesterday, doing Angel Bob's mod. That's gonna be really fun. All sorts of cool stuff. Oh right, I never turned in I never gave Hull's long sword. I had anything else to say? Well we've got 119 gold. We barely got enough, I think. To get some slint mail. So exactly what we wanted. gonna send the split mail over to let's see this is armor class four <laughs> so that is gonna lower the armor class and then so we're sending our cleric into melee a lot let's put the split mail on the cleric oh, good um our cleric doesn't have much strength so we'll have him carry this heavy stuff We could probably just drop all these quarter staffs, huh? Do not need them anymore. Oh, we took almost all my crossbow bows. He took 80. I thought he was going to take 20. We do need to buy more ammunition. Buy some ammo. Throwing axes are expensive. Get a set of those. Or throwing daggers. These for now. Um, and then so we've got a hundred of each ammunition type let's get let's see we've got 14 so we could get more of each Oh, you know, we are using, I think, we have two sling characters. Yes. Big. Really. Really. We do four packs of bullets. All right, we have spent every piece of gold that we have. You want it? You've got it. I'm going to go turn in that sword to hole. I forget what that does. I think it's a little bit of experience. Every little bit of experience matters. We're level one, so uh, we only need 1,300 experience to level up. Now, uh, if you're not familiar in AD&D, all these characters level up at different rates, too. So we'll have uh, level ups coming very staggered. Bards level up, I think, the fastest. Your bards are the fastest. Not sure, actually. Walk over here. This is where Hull is. Turn in that sword. I'd be happy about that. Thanks, kiddo. Grian didn't bring you up half bad, did he? Or did he? You're gonna. You're lucky to have grown up here in Candlekeep, to be honest. Sometimes, the world outside these gates has gone mad. What with all this fighting over iron shortages and all. Mom and Baldur's Gate will be at war before the season's out. Mark my words. Anyhow, I'm on duty. Here's 20 gold pieces for saving my skin from the sheep. Hey, that's nice. We'll take that with us. 50 experience. That's good. I'll have a chat with the Ryan now. This is very unnerving, I know. But you must trust me. It is very important that you pack your possessions so that we may leave Candlekeep immediately. Hurry, for there is no time to tarry. The keep is well protected, but not invulnerable. So I'll go ahead and say I am ready to go right now, because we are. We're going to get out of here. Listen carefully. If we ever become separated, it is imperative that you make your way to the Friendly Arm Inn. There you will meet Khalid and Jahira. They have long been my friends, and you can trust them. Oh, um, hello. I am using a full pre-built squad, um, and our main character is a um, Dwarven Defender. 
standing there with his uh, shield. Wait, there is something wrong. We are in an ambush. Prepare yourself. You're perceptive for an old man. You know I am here. Hand over your ward, and no one will be hurt. If you resist, it shall be a waste of your life. Ah, I see you did a command there, main. Uh, that's interesting. Is that uh, is that an extension that a lot of the Baldur's Gate uh, streamers use? I've, I just noticed there was a community for this game at all tonight, and uh, I really enjoy playing it, so I thought I'd stream a challenge run of it. Um, but yeah, I definitely would be happy to hear about some of the extensions that other streamers here use. Old words from Gorion. I'm sorry that you feel that way, old man. Interesting. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know about that. I'll have to look into it and see what what that is and get that myself. Very cool. He tells us to run. Oh, we narrowly get missed by an arrow. Man, is a badass. Turn that guy to stone. Oh, he did. Especially cruel this morning. You awake with the realization that you have not been living some horrible dream. Ambushed. You saw Gorion cut down before your eyes, but even his powerful magic could not stop the onslaught. It was his wish that you flee, but that does not remove the feeling of helplessness that now overwhelms you. Hand over your ward, the armored fiend had said. He was after you and you alone, but why? If only Gorion had given some clue, but now you are alone and lost. Candlekeep is near, but you will find no quarter there. The readers pay for their serenity with rather draconian entry rules, and without Gorion's influence, their doors will remain closed. You will not last long on your own with your meager equipment. Perhaps you can get some help from the friends Gorion mentioned, the ones at the Friendly Arms. Okay. So, we are going to the Friendly Arm Inn. There we will meet two very important characters, and they're going to tell us what to do. At least we hope. Okay. But, before we do, I am going to take a quick break. So glad to have you all here. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to take a little breather, and I will be right back, maybe two minutes or so. Stay with us. We'll get into this next act. 